pH meter is going to use a pH electrode. Okay. The pH electrode has a glass bulb at the bottom. Be very careful with the uh, pH electrode because this glass bulb at the bottom is very fragile. It does have some plastic guard uh, around it, so you can't bump it on the sides of the, of the beaker, for instance. This pH electrode is going to get connected to the back of the pH meter through a BNC cable. It goes on like that. Just push on and screw it uh, in until it, it locks in place. So essentially the pH meter is ready to go. Make sure it's plugged in. Uh, and then we should see some numbers here on the pH meter itself. If the pH meter is not on when you uh, come into the lab, you can press the power button here to turn the pH meter on. We want to make sure that the pH mode is selected. So to do that, you press mode until you see pH show up here on the screen. So I've placed our pH electrode on the arm of the pH meter. This is going to hold the pH electrode for you while you're running your experiments. I have the electrode in a beaker of water you want to make sure that the electrode is always submerged in water to prevent the glass ball from drying out. So before we run a uh, measurement, we need to calibrate our pH meter. We're going to use pH 7 buffer and pH 4 buffer for our calibration. These are colored solutions. Uh, they have a dye in them, so, you, it's, so it makes it easy for determining which is which. You don't get them mixed up. Uh, and that's all that that's really there for. Uh, I have instructions on how to do this for you. It does need to be done at the beginning of every lab session. Uh, one thing to do first is check that uh, there are no, there is no calibration built in. If there is, you can clear that in the standard STD mode. Okay. So in order to calibrate, let's first place our pH electrode in the pH 7 buffer and we'll press STD for standard and right now it says it's waiting for stability. This pH meter uh, will tell you when it has reached a stable measurement and at that point uh, uh, see it says stable here. So now we can press STD to standardize and we'll have our 7 uh, standard sort of depicted there. Then we will give our electrode a quick rinse in some water. Swirl. You can dab it dry with a Kim wipe. Uh, and then uh, we'll place it in the pH 4 buffer. And again, press the standard button. So the pH meter should recognize uh, that the pH is around 4 and uh, we'll know that this is a pH 4 standard or pH 4 buffer when it, uh, for the standardization process. So it says stable, so push STD. And now we have calibrated with a pH 4 and a pH 7 buffer solution. So our pH meter is ready to go.